Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Good afternoon. Okay, so let's start with multiplication ng polynomials. Um, again, na-discuss na to, but let's just recall. X raised to M times X raised to N is equal to X raised to M plus N. So if you're multiplying two variables with the same base, i-add mo lang yung exponent nila. Okay? So multiplying monomial by a polynomial or multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. So just multiply the monomial to each term in the polynomial and then just add their products, okay? So gagamitin nyo lang yung concept ng pag-multiply nyo ng monomials times monomial. Okay, so for example, if we have this, yung monomial 2y times y squared plus 2y, itong 2y, multiply lang natin sa y squared and sa 2y, okay? So here, 2y times y squared, and then 2y times 2y. So now multiply these, and then we will get 2y cubed plus 4y squared. Okay, I'm assuming okay na kayo pagdating sa multiplying monomials times monomial. Okay? So let's answer some examples. Okay. So itong 4, i-distribute lang natin or i-multiply natin sa dalawang terms ng ating polynomial. So we will have 4 times y squared plus 4 times y. Okay, number 2. Negative 2x times x squared plus 2x minus 5. Okay, so take note, may negative ka dyan. So negative 2x times x squared, that's equal to negative 2x, 1 plus 2 raised to 3, plus negative 2 times positive 2, that's equal to, ko muna pa lang isulit yung plus, so that's equal to negative 4, x, 1 plus 1, so raised to 2. Okay, how about this one? Negative 2x times negative 5, so magiging positive. 2 times 5, that's 10, and then wala namang variable dito, so times x lang. Okay, nakaka-follow naman. Number 3. 5x squared times negative 2 raised to 4 plus 3y minus 6. Okay. Multiply this one. 5x squared times negative 2x raised to 4. So negative 10. x raised to what? 2 plus 4. So that's 6. 5x squared times 3y Positive 5 times 3, 15. X squared pa rin times Y. Okay, minus, kasi negative to, 6 times 5, 30. X squared. Okay, nakafollow naman lahat. Now it's your turn. Answer these one. I'm gonna give you 2 minutes. So guys, I know madali, pero anong kalaban nyo pagdating sa college entrance test? Time. Okay, so practice is really important. Practice, practice, practice. Because when you practice, nakikita mo kani mga common errors mo when you're solving. So, malalaman mo kung paano ka mag adjust kung ano yung mga bagay na kailangan mo tinitake note or kina-counter check always. Okay? Or kung saan bagay ka magiging careful. And at the same time, magigage mo. Mabilis na ba ako mag-solve? Diba? Kasi ito, concept-wise, alam ko nakukuha nyo. But the question is, can you solve yung problems na naiintindihan nyo at a certain period of time, right? So, sa mga feeling nila kung mabagal pa sila, kaya tayo may worksheets, alright? Okay, now let's answer. Number one, we have negative 4y cubed times negative y plus x minus z plus y. Okay? So, multiply natin to dito. Magiging positive. 4y, 3 plus 1. So, that's 4. Ito magiging negative kasi negative times positive. So, 4 pa rin. Y cubed times X. Negative times negative. So, magiging positive. 4 Y cubed pa rin times Z. Negative times positive. Magiging negative. Um, 4 times 9. That's 36 Y cubed. Okay? Number 2. X Y times 2 X 
plus 4y minus 8. Okay. xy times 2x, that's 2. x raised to 2, kasi 1, 1 times y. Plus, ano ating coefficient? 4 lang. x will still be x. y magiging y squared, kasi y times y. Minus 8xy. Number 3, you have 2 raised to 2, x squared, y squared. Ay, sorry. x squared, y times x squared minus zxy minus 6y cubed. Okay, so ito, this is just equal to, 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4, right? So 4x squared, y times x squared, 4x raised to 2 plus 2 or 4 times y. Okay, positive times negative, magiging negative. 4 times 7, that's 28. x, 2 plus 1, so that's 3. y times y, magiging y squared. Okay, again, negative ulit tayo dito. 4 times 6, that's equal to 24. x squared pa rin, yung y magiging 1 plus 3 or 4. Okay, how about number 4? 6ab times 2a cubed minus a squared plus 7b squared. Okay, 6 times 2, 12. a times a cubed, a raised to 4 times b. Negative, so minus 6. a times a squared, that's a raised to 3 times b. Plus 6 times 7, that's 42. a pa rin. b this time is 1 plus 2 or raised to 3. Okay, so far, wala namang questions. Okay, number 5, we have negative 5mn times 3m squared plus 4n squared minus 5. Negative times positive, so negative 15. m raised to 1 plus 2 or 3 times n plus, oh sorry, Positive times negative, so magiging negative ulit dito. 5 times 4, that's 20. M, tapos yung N would be N raised to 3 kasi N times N squared. Negative times negative, so magiging positive 25 MN. Okay, multiplying polynomials. So this time, general na lang. So in general, you have to multiply each term ng first polynomial sa lahat ng terms ng second polynomial. So, kung meron ka pang third polynomial, after mo makuha yung product sa first and second polynomial mo, multiply mo each term ng product to the terms ng third polynomial mo. Okay? So, for example, so if you have x squared plus x minus 4 times x squared minus 6x plus 2, so multiply natin each term. Let's start with x squared. So, x squared, i-multiply natin sa lahat ng terms ng ating second polynomial. So, guys, be careful with the signs. Yung signs na nag nauna sa iyong term, yun yung kukunin niyang sign. I-assume niya na sign niya. x squared times x squared. Negative 6x or minus 6x times x squared. Positive 2 or plus 2 times x squared. Okay, so next naman itong x. I multiply din natin sa lahat ng terms. So we have x squared times x, negative 6x times x, and positive 2 times x. And lastly, itong constant. Okay? And then, multiply, we will get this. And as you can see, meron tayong mga like terms. Meron tayong itong, yung x raised to 4, wala. Isa lang siya. Meron tayong dalawang x raised to 3. Meron tayong tatlong x raised to 2. And meron tayong dalawang x. Okay? So, isimplify natin yon. We will get x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed minus 8x squared plus 26x minus 8. Okay? So, ito, nagsisimplify ka lang yan, guys, ha? So, I'm assuming marunong na kayo mag-add na monomials. So, try to answer this one. So, mix to nung lahat ng kanina. I'll give you 5 minutes. 3. Tingnan natin kung marami makatapos agad. All right, number one, 5x plus 4y times x plus 
to y. Okay, so 5x times x, that's equal to 5x squared. 4y times x, 4xy na yun. And mapapansin nyo, same yung variables. Okay, like me, like terms, like terms. So kapag ganun, pwede nyo yung mental math. 4y times x plus 2y times 5y, that's equal to 10 plus 4. So 14xy. 4y times 2y is equal to 8y squared. Okay? Tama naman ba? Number 2, negative 8y minus x squared z times negative x squared z minus 8y. Dito, ang answer natin would be a perfect square trinomial. Kasi equal lang itong binomial na to sa nandito. So 8y squared, that's 64y squared. Plus, kasi pareho sila ng sign, 2 times 8, that's 16x squared yz. Okay, in-arrange ko lang in alphabetical. So, x squared yz. Plus, x squared z's raised to 2 ulit, that's equal to x, 2 times 2, 4, z squared. Okay, number 3. We have negative 5x squared y minus 3 times 3 minus 5x squared y. Okay, yung product natin dito ay magiging, ano, difference of two squares. Okay, kasi meron tayong dalawa na pareho yung absolute value, pero yung isa doon, opposite yung signs. Okay, so this one, pareho yung sign ng 5x squared y, negative sila pareho. Ito naman yung 3 magkaiba yung sign. This one is negative, this one is positive. Kaya, meron tayong difference of two squares na product. Okay? So, square of this, that would be 25 x raised to 4 y squared. Okay? Square this one, that would be negative 9. Alright? Number 4, 4 y cube z raised to 4 minus z x squared. So, del square lang, ibig sabihin, equal lang yung binomial na minumultiply mo. So, you will have a perfect, perfect square trinomial for a product. Okay? So, square of this one, that would be 16y 3 times 2, 6, z raised to 4 times 2, that's 8, minus, kasi magkaiba sila ng sign, 2 times 4 times 7, or 8 times 7, that's 56, tama ba? y cube x z raised to 4. Okay x, y cubed, z raised to 4. Okay, sige, babalikan kita ng mofeta. So, how about this one? Negative 7x. Si square mo lang sila, okay? Plus 49x. Here, fate, sa so number 3, meron tayong difference of 2 squares. So, ang form ng sagot natin would be a squared minus b squared. Dito naman sa number 4, meron tayong perfect square trinomial. Yung product yun, ha? So, ang form ng product natin would be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? Okay? Nakuha mo ba, Faith? Sige, balikan na lang rin natin yung difference ng dalawa. Let's go to number 5 muna. 3x minus 2y, 5x squared plus 4x plus y. Okay. So, this one muna yung multiply natin sa lahat. 5x squared times 3x, that's 15x cubed. 4x times 3x, that's equal to 12x squared. How about this one? y times 3x, that's equal to 3xy. Uh, okay? And then, so pwede mong i-choose na mag-negative, then parenthesis ka, tapos dito mo ilagay yung product, or isama mo na siya sa pag-multiply. So, negative 2y times each of, the, of these terms. So, negative times positive. 10x squared y. How about 4x times negative 2y? Negative 8xy. y times negative 2y, that's negative 2y squared. Okay, meron ba tayong like terms? Ito lang. This one and this one. Sulat natin na maayos. We have 15x cubed plus 12x squared. And then ito. Negative 10x squared y, um, 3xy 
minus 8xy. That's negative 5xy minus 2y squared. Marikin natin yung PowerPoint. So, si Faith. So, meron tayong dalawang cases, Faith, for multiplying binomials. Okay? So, meron tayong... Nabutan mo ba ito, Faith? Magkakaroon ka ng product na difference of two squares kapag ang dalawa mong binomial ay eh merong dalawang pair ng like terms. Okay? A and A, B and B. Pero, pagdating sa sign, ito, pareho yung sign. Yung isa, opposite yung signs. Okay? Yun lang naman yun. Kaya dito, kanina, um, pinakita ko isa-isa. Here you have pareho yung sign ng y, opposite yung sign ng 9x. Okay? Pero like terms, itong 9x and negative 9x. Itong y and y, like terms. Okay? Pero dapat hindi lang siya like terms, ha? Dapat equal talaga yung absolute value niya. How about here? Itong negative 3yz, pareho yung sign niya sa, sa negative 3yz. Itong 11, mag Opposite sign sila. Okay? So, yung mga ganitong cases, itong lahat na nandito, 1, 2, 3, 4, will give you a product na difference of two squares ang form. A squared minus B squared. So, yung A mo will always be yung term mo na pareho yung sign. Okay? Yung B mo would be kung ano man yung term mo na opposite yung sign. Okay? So, A squared minus B squared. Uh, pagdating naman sa perfect square, dito meron kang perfect square trinomial. Ang tawag dito sa a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is a perfect square trinomial. Okay? Nakukuha mo ito kapag nag-multiply ka ng binomial by itself. Kaya a plus b times a plus b o kaya naman a plus b squared. Okay? Pareho lang itong nasa taas na to. So, dito meron kang two pairs ng equal and like terms. Okay? So, pareho yung sign niya rin. And one way to check lang for the sign ng middle term is kapag pareho ang sign ng A and B mo, positive ang magiging middle term mo. Kapag opposite ang signs ng A and B mo, magiging negative itong middle term mo. Alright? Maga, um, hindi nyo kailangan isulat agad kung positive or negative kasi pag pinlog and play mo naman siya dito sa A and B, lalabas pa rin dapat yung correct na sign. Okay, so depende na lang kung saan kayo comfortable na pag-solve. Okay, so ito yung mga examples. Kasi here you have XY, then kapag i-multiply mo lang yun siya with another XY plus 4. So meron kang dalawang pair ng equal terms. Like here, itong negative Y and negative Y, and 3x cubed and 3x cubed. So, we have two pairs of equal terms. Okay, nasagot ko ba, Faith? Um, may upload ko na yung worksheet nyo ngayon. So, sana sinasagutan nyo kasi guys, alam kong madali lang to topic-wise, pero hindi yun yung question eh. The question is, can you answer it given the time limit? Alright? 